Hello, my name is Hossam Ramzi. I'm an Egyptian percussionist. And um, I'm very, very honored and very happy to be here today. And I want to thank my brother, Grice, and his wonderful, wonderful lady, Maria, for inviting me to participate here and perform for you today. Um, this many people call Darbuka. Uh, in Egyptian, it's called Tabla, which means drum. Try to keep it simple, sort of thing. And uh, basically, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an instrument I fell in love with when I was tinier than tiny. And um, kind of when I first saw it the first time, I knew that this was going to be my, my life, everything. And it is. I've made everything that I've done with this drum. And uh, it's been my intention and goal to bring her to the forefront of musical uh, sound. Uh, and I've put it with a lot of albums by many, many great artists. Uh, the list is just like unlistable, if you know what I mean. It's just too long because um, I realized that in Egypt we have a lot of Western music that has been influencing us. We, in Egypt, we are influenced by almost every civilization that existed. Um, from the pharaohs, and the Hexus, the Hittites, and the Persians, and the Mongolians, and the Indians, and the Greeks, the Romans. We had all the religions come from our area. And then the Ottomans, and then the rebellion of the slaves of the Ottomans against the Ottomans themselves. And um, then we had the French, then we had the English, and now we have MTV. So all of this stuff has been kind of pouring into our pot of, uh, of cooking. So I decided to go back and poke them in the eye and put the tabla in the music of the Western world. So today, an album that doesn't have Middle Easternish kind of stuff, it, uh, you know, it's not worth listening to anymore. It's becoming that way. And I'm guilty, Your Honor. It's my doing. So it's a beautiful instrument. It, um, this particular one is designed by myself and is made by me at my factory, my people in Cairo. But it's my measurements and it's my sound. And finally, Remo, they are making a new skin that is particularly made, because you see it's a nine inch, and it doesn't conform with the eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, whatever square inches that they have. This one is a nine inch, so. And it has two basic sounds. One is called the dum, and one is called the tack. Uh, but I think that there are many, many other sounds within between this doom and tack. So I will give you a little bit of a, a little sample of what I do with the tabla.
but then thank you. thank you but then you can get really technical with it you know and uh and do some mad stuff, but that I leave to my friends who really know how to play, you know. But I love the instrument because, you know, it's just by itself, it's alone, no one, you know, no drum kit, you know, which used to be my, <laughs> when I played the drums, you know, if you don't have a roadie that can pack it up for you, it, you know, then everybody's already walked off and I'm still, Packing the stuff, you know. Huh? As a drummer, it's first in, last out. Yes, <laughs> definitely. First in or last out. That's right. One day, Roland, when they first brought out the 808 machine, they did a competition as to why would you switch from drum kit to, to what do you call it, to uh, the Roland drum machine. The guy who won it was, he won it because he said that by the time I've packed up my drum kit, all the band members have walked away with all the good looking groupies, you know? So um, they gave it to him. <laughs> but the good thing about Egyptian music is that it's an interactive kind of thing. You know, they, we like to engage our audience. And um, people clap during the, the rhythm, and or they clap in a certain part. So I would like to ask you to do just like something very small for me. Like I will play a particular routine, and then at the end you clap, just one clap. Like I would do like one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three. That would be on the time together. <laughs> and one hit, like, let's try one more time. Not bad, actually. Not bad. Much better than that audience I had in Bristol a while back. One more time. I can see some of you are getting really prepared now, you know. <clears throat> wow. See, we can improvise. We can do it like this. We will, we will. You can see where they stole the song. All right. I like to take rhythms. Thank you very much for doing that, by the way. I like to take rhythms from the past and make them in today's timing. Today's, I mean, let's say several hundred years ago, if you wanted to buy table and chairs, it will take you forever to have it made. But today, if you wake up before 8 o'clock and you order it from IKEA, it will be delivered in the same afternoon. This is not advertising, OK? They make terrible tables and chairs. But rhythms like one which is called, I'm not going to bother you with the name. It's counted in 16s. OK? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Can you count that with me? Da, ti. One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, ten. And it will be. 
something like that. I was explaining this particular concept to my friend Billy Cobham, drummer extraordinaire. We were in a festival, drum festival, in Cape Britain, just outside Halifax in Canada. And he said, wow, I love this. Let's jam it together. And we did an improvisation. It was just like people are still talking about it until today. But in my last album, which is called Rock the Tabla, I invited Billy to play uh, a song that I actually wrote on that. But what I did first of all is I moved that rhythm, funked it a little bit, because as you know about Hossam, if it moves, that's the policy. If it moves, funk it. So I took the same rhythm, the three domes, and then I moved it a little bit further. So I call the song Six Teens, as in six teenagers. And it's a very playful kind of question and answer type song where we did a lot of trading of fours in that, you know, as you do in the jazz domain. Um, another rhythm, which, uh, but this one I did myself, which is a nine rhythm. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, four. Doesn't sound very good slow. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. But there's another subject, without aiming to complicate it for anybody, which I learned from the amazing Mr. Chick Corea, and that is called time illusions. Okay, anybody interested in time illusion? Good. Time illusion is so simple, even a percussionist can do it. And that is, you let the people think that this is one, count of one, but then you get them to hook onto something and then you keep them believing that this is the one and then you use the one as the two or three of another pattern which is very simple, very, very simple pattern and then they think that you've got really super funky there, you know. And then you go back to the original pattern, which is a little bit complicated, like that nine that I had. One, two. You know, we know where one is. One, two, three, four. Four, four, four counts, you know, to the rhythm. Doomed, tack, but that tack was the one of the nines. Now you still think that this is the one of the new rhythm, then you're lost. And then 
the knight in shining armor will come in and save the whole day and go back to the nines again. And everybody thinks, wow, you know, we're back again to whatever, and we'll just pretend that we understood that other bit as well. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, one, two, two, three, four, one, two. Back to the nine. And then you throw in a chorus using the sixteen. See, I'm using that slap. Back to the nine. It's all simple, isn't it? I don't know why the hell they pay me for it, you know. But who am I to disagree, man? Good. And then you can go and play some sevens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. And then use a very, very simple six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. And then you throw the seven and the six, and then you entered intelligence, you know? Then you put the whole thing together, fours at the time. to the nines. Thank you. But the thing is about the tabla is that it's for dance. Music makes music for dance. So fours or fours of everything that you do. You see it? We understand things in groups of four. That's how the human mind is made. When it starts going far east, should I say, no, far west, then make it fours. And the important thing is to make your audience understand you. I know you understand this. But how many did I play? We don't know. I don't know. But if I, as I call it, quatrify it for you, make it into fours, Now we can start tracking together.
very much. Um, there's one other instrument I would like to introduce you to, which we call Rick. Not Rick, Rick. It's a. Uh, Made from wood, covered with abalone, power shell, specially imported from New Zealand. And it has a fish skin. This skin is made, taken from a fish after she passed away, poor thing. Um, symbols are hand hammered for me in Cairo and then gold plated. So it's a rather expensive piece of the furniture. However, in Egypt, we don't play the tambourine as people do, that kind of stuff. Or in Brazil, you know, which they have a fantastic, amazing technique that I always fail to practice, but I love, you know. But we have also two basic sounds, just like the tabla, just two basic sounds. One is called the doom, and guess what the other one is called? Or, so we have a doom, an attack. Dooms and attacks. As they say in Egypt, Abdullah is your uncle. Remember the, the part we were saying about rhythmic illusion? The first type I was talking about was mathematic style. Mathematical style. This is what I feel about rhythmic interference. Thank you. 
I like going into that little zone of kind of where we don't know what the, the exact metronomic tempo is, but nevertheless, it is somehow personally calculates itself to be back on the one again. But it's just like that's the playing with rhythm and time. And we are the creators of time, and we are the creators of rhythm, so we can play with that. However, this tambourine can be played in various other ways. much. I think my time is up. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure performing for you. Thank you. You can always, you can always visit the website www.johnnydeb.com and uh, you'll find me there. Okay? Thank you.